in recent works, machine learning community has shown a growing interest in extreme low bit quantization techniques like the bitnet and the 1.58 bit. So these methods aim to revolutionize compute efficiency by enabling metrics multiplication with quantized weights without actual multiplication. So the existing approaches mainly focus on training models from scratch, which can be computationally expensive and less accessible. So to address this, Mobis Labs propose a great approach. So that is the quantizing pre-trained models directly with extreme settings, including binary weight, using the uh, adaptation called HQQ+. So the HKQ plus is the adaptation of HKQ, which utilizes a low rank adapter to enhance its performance. So by fine tuning just a fraction of the weight on top of an HKQ quantized model. So they observed a significant quality improvement, even at one bit, surpassing the smaller pre full precision models in output quality. So the HKQ is stands for half quadratic quantization, which is a fast and accurate model quantizer that keeps the need for calibration data. It's super simple to implement, just a few lines of code for the optimizer. So it can crunch through quantizing the Lama 2 70 billion model in only four minutes. So the method leverages efficient metrics multiplication for low bit quantization. We're thinking the dequantization step to directly exploit extreme low bit metrics multiplication. So by separating the metrics operations and employing low rank adapters, it enhances the quantization results. So benchmarking against full precision and other quantization methods the experiments demonstrate remarkable improvement in output quality for both 1-bit and 2-bit models. So notably, the HKQ 1-bit model achieves more comparable performance to the 2-bit model, which indicates the efficacy of the proposed approach. So these findings are just a promising path for making large machine learning models more accessible by reducing memory and compute requirement through extreme low bit quantization, which is a great news. So we are going to dive into a demo. So this is a block from the Mobis Labs, right? So you can find much detail in here. So this is going to be the introduction, the efficient for the efficient math mode for low bit quantization. So we can do go through this block to get, find out more information on how the data set that was used. And yeah, so we have the one bit, two bit, the chart models, one bit models, the two bit models. Okay, right, so if you want me to do a detailed video on this, um, just let me know in the comment section. All right, so we go through, we go to the hanging phase where we have the model from the Mobis labs. So we have the Lama 27B. So they have other, that's the one bit model. They have other models. So when you click here, you can see they have the mixed trials 87B. So that is a three bits. We have, they have two bits, four bit models. So you can check that out. You can try different type of model. So I'm going to use the one bit model for Lama 2 7B. Okay, so let's get into the collab. Right, so let's get into the collab. And we first go to runtime. And we choose T4 GPU, I'm going to hit save, 
and I'm going to start. So we need to install the HQQ and say run it. So let's give it some time. If you start installing it the first time. All right, so we have that installed. Let's go to so we load the one bit and full precision model. So we are using the T4 instance. And I'm going to say run. So we are importing the HQQ model. We are importing the auto tokenizer. And we are importing the auto model for casual LM and importer show. So when you run it, so the next thing is we are going to load the quantize model. And so we are loading this model from hugging face. All right, so you can go here and select any model you want. All right, just go here and select any model. You just copy the name and you paste it here. So you can use the Mistrax 7B the mix scroll 87b instruct right so you can so i'm using the one bit so i'm going to say run and i'm going to specify the data type for the model to be loaded so i'm using the float 16 and run it and we load the quantized model using the hkq model for casual lm so i'm passing the quantized model id and i'm using the adapter the LoRa and I um, will enable catching for faster inference. So I'm going to sign that to true. I'm going to set the model to evaluation mode. I'm going to run it. So here you have the option to, if you want to connect that to a hugging face, so you can need your token, assist, assist token. And it's optional, so I will just let it let it be. So let's wait for a while. It's loading. Awesome. All right. So we have the one bit model loaded, as you can see. All right. So the next thing we have to do is we load a tokenizer from the quantized model. So we are using the auto tokenizer from P train. We pass the quantized model ID. So we run it. It's loading, we are loading the tokenizers, it's loading. So now we are going to set up the inference by configuring the tokenizer and the model. So we set to add the beginning of sequence and the end of sequence, all right? So we are going to set that to false and we check if tokenizer has a part token. So we place a if condition here, if there is no part token. We are going to give a special token, call it part, and I'm going to run it. All right, so we will define a function for streaming the inference for the chat interaction. So we import the touch transformers and we create a trend. So from trend, we import thread, thread, and we pass a function called a chat processor. So we are going to pass the chat we're going to pass the current model, the current tokenizer, and then max new token to be 100. We're going to pass the sample to be true, and device is CUDA. All right, so this, uh, so this will disable using the default system prompt for the tokenizer, okay? So we create a streamer, and we use the text iterator streamer to tokenize and stream the input text, all right? So we pass the current tokenizer, the time out to be 10, and skip prompt to be true, and skip special token. So all these are um, redefined parameters that we are going to pass. So we pass, we generate the model input by using the current tokenizer. We pass the chat, and we pass the streamer. So these are parameters that we are going to pass, the top P 0 0.9, top K 50, and the temperature is 0 
Okay. So cool. So we are going to start a new thread for the model generation. So we are assigning that to T. And we pass this. The target is going to be the target, the current models. And we are going to start it. So we start the thread for the module generation. So we want to print the input. So we, uh, we want to print the conversation from the user and assistance and we pass the chat and we collect and print the generated text. So we we are going to let it iterate through the streamer and we extract the text and we are going to put that to the output, input that to the output and we're going to print the text and we want to empty the coda memory to release the memory resources here and want to retain the output. Okay, so I'm going to, okay. So I've already run this. So I'm going to run this. All right, so now we list the questions for the quiz. So we are creating some simple questions that we want to pass into the one bit model to test it out, and I'm going to, so these are sample questions, so it's going to pick up random questions. So what, what happens to you if you eat watermelon seeds? So I'm going to run this. Let's see. It's taking some time. We have an arrow, let's see. Run this. All right, so this is pretty cool. So if you had three apples and you add two yesterday, how many apples do you have now? All right, so the assistant is saying you started with three apples, you add two of them. So you would have three minus two is equal to one apple left. So the answer is one, which is not really bad for a one bit model. All right, cool. So let's let me rerun it and see. It's going to pick up another random answers. All right, can I give grapes to a dog? Assistance, pretty cool. Can I give grapes to a dog? And the assistant says, no, you cannot give grapes to a dog. You can't feed dogs grapes because they are not suitable for their digestive system and may cause health problems such as diarrhea or vomiting. Instead, it is better to provide the dogs with fresh fruit that are safe for their, their consumption. Oh, this is great. Awesome. All right. So for a one-bit model and giving such a response is great and awesome. All right. Uh, can we do one more? Okay, let me do one more. What happens to you if you eat watermelon seeds? Let's see the output. All right, so what happens to you if you eat watermelon seeds? And the assistant says, eating watermelon, including their seeds, is not harmful. You can consume the seeds for watermelon in small amount as they are safe for consumption, however, Eating large quantities or consuming them frequently may cause adverse health effects such as stomach pain and vomiting. It's important to follow, let's see, proper dietary guidelines when handling any fruit or vegetable, especially those that have been processed or 
contain high level of sugar or salt wow this is really awesome guys i really love just just a one bit model all right this is awesome i can't wait to see how the future will be for one bit llm two bit llm even three four bit llm all right so i'm going to attach this to my in the description and yeah so i hope you like this video don't forget to share and subscribe see you in the next one